Shivaru now has these election commission cameras that have been installed inside these voting booths. Shiv, what do they suggest? Is there any truth at all to what Kejriwal is alleging? Well, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's very interesting to actually look at these pictures. And I think, uh, you know, uh, everyone out there uh, who's been, sh you know, who've been sharing links to these videos uh, actually respects the fact that there's a lot of transparency. The fact that there are hundreds of these web streams available where we can instantly look at what's happening inside these polling booths. Here's, uh, you know, here's a video feed that I've just pulled up for our viewers, uh, Rahul, from the Delhi Election Commission website. Uh, this is in Northwest Delhi. This is in Kirari Suleiman Nagar. This is, uh, I pulled this up because it's an interesting video because it's actually a pretty busy polling booth. Uh, you know, where, you know, even though, you know, the sort of people have been trickling it in it in many places and you read out those figures. This is one booth where there's been, you know, I've been looking at these pictures for the last 15 to 20 minutes. Steady stream of voters literally non-stop uh, in this particular uh, uh, polling booth. Another uh, polling booth uh, video, uh, uh, video feed that I'm pulling up here is from the East Delhi area. This is uh, Garoli extension where one once again, you can see the polling officials sitting here. Also, once again, a steady stream uh, of uh, people coming in. But here, it appears that the queues are moving a little slower. Now, whether this is what the Ahmadmi Party chief is referring to, one cannot actually tell because these videos don't have sound. We can't tell what these people are actually saying, obviously, with good reason. Uh, now, ironically, uh, you know, like you were saying, here's a stream from New Delhi. This is at the senior secondary school at Havelock Square. As you can see, you've got the poll officials sitting there, desk empty, pristine surroundings, one or two voters just, you know, whistling in to cast their vote. Not much activity, uh, you know, actually happening here. But, you know, if you look at any of the other places, it appears that uh, it appears that uh, activity is still, you know, still happening. Like, uh, like Mr. Sharma just said, it's probably true that, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, uh, this will pick up, uh, pick up uh, as the uh, as the day wears on. But these these video feeds that are coming in from all of these places, uh, from from East Delhi, from West Delhi, suggest that there is a steady stream of activity happening in these places. The election commission is keeping a tab, as you can see, this particular video feed that I've just pulled up from West Delhi. Uh, Rahul, the video, uh, yeah, the, 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 the web camera pointed straight at the queues there. And you can see that there are people are standing in queues. This is at the Prathmik Vidyale in, uh, uh, in, in West Delhi that we're looking at. So um, this, uh, the, the other videos that I just showed you, and at least 200 other video feeds happening at the same time. We don't know for sure how the Election Commission has actually chosen these video feeds and where they want the webcams to actually be. Because remember, there are 12,000 polling, more than 12,000 polling areas, uh, Rahul, uh, in all of the national capital at this time. Uh, so it's interesting because these videos uh, give you a real-time sense of what's happening uh, in each of these places. Now, compared with what the Ahmadmi Party chief is saying about uh, uh, Election Commission uh, officials going away, uh, poll officials going away for lunch, uh, queues moving slowly. Difficult to actually tell from these, uh, you know, these videos because uh, he hasn't mentioned precisely which polling booths uh, that may actually be happening in or which area of Delhi that may actually be happening in. Uh, but what we do know is that the uh, Ahmadmi Party is taking it up with the election commission. We'll have to see where, where, where that Are actually Are we seeing, goes. Shiv, mind games taking place here where he preempts or fears the possibility that the state could gang up against him, slow down the process of our voters coming in and therefore creates a big shindy around it. You know, he did the same with liquor, with cash. He's done the same now with, uh, because your cameras don't your, seem yeah. to suggest immediately that his charge is true. So is it just applying pressure on the state to ensure that they remain completely uh, impartial? Well, you, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's good that you use the word mind games because we've seen so much of that, uh, you know, during this entire election process, Rahul. Uh, we saw it, as you rightly said, first with sting operations, then with cash, then with, uh, very importantly, with electronic voting machines. And now you're seeing it, uh, you know, with poll officials at, at polling booths. He suggests that there may be a conspiracy there. I think, you know, uh, like, like in the 2014 Delhi election, mind games, uh, you know, uh, this sort of threat perception, this aura of... Uh, threat and persecution of the Ahmadmi Party is very much, uh, you know, very much part of the uh, sort of uh, language that the Ahmadmi Party has always used. Uh, and I think it's very interesting that uh, Arvind Kejriwal now talks about what's happening in.
in real time at these booths. He's out there, he's tweeting, he's talking about, uh, you know, precisely what's happening in certain booths. Kiran Bedi is tweeting general stuff, which is, you know, mostly campaign related stuff. Arvind Kejriwal, the Ahmadmi party appear to be, uh, you know, talking in specifics. They're talking about how, uh, you know, uh, election uh, poll, poll officials are taking extended, uh, you know, lunch breaks in some of these poll stations. Now, we don't know if that's actually in any of these particular, uh, you know, booths from which we're getting, we're getting these video feeds. Uh, but uh, I think it's uh, it's interesting that uh, the, the language being used by the Ahmadmi party is specific, definitely a mind game. Well, they're also setting the agenda, make no mistake about it. And the BJP is having to play catch up on every count. This is an election where the Ahmadmi party has done to the BJP what Modi did to his opponents in the last election. He's just setting the agenda, forcing others to react.